Persuasiveness. Effectively communicating with others so they can better understand. My name is Danielle Skranek. Basically, as a state ambassador, um, I'm deployed into different cities throughout the state of Missouri, trying to poll and recruit people to be a voice and um, be a member of our society within Mission 22. I'm also um, the designer and coordinator for Mission 22, as in um, I'm creating events within the state of Missouri so that people don't forget the ones who we've lost and the ones who we might lose. So we will speak at the VA and directly tell them, you know, the signs and symptoms um, of our battle buddies and what we can do to prevent that rather than just kind of giving the cold shoulder and, you know, forgetting who we are. We're a team and especially in the military, you're, you know, you're one big family. So it's important to look out for each other and that's kind of what we do um, going to Fort Leavenworth, Fort Riley or Fort Leonard Wood is really to get them to know and see the symptoms that they can prevent. You know, the character quality of persuasiveness is really at the core about how we are flexible how we are adaptable to the way other people communicate and how they take in information. So when we think from uh, any position in our organization, whether it's frontline all the way to the top level of employee within any group or organization, it is important that we think from a perspective of if we want people to hear what we say, then we have to think and be a little bit planful and mindful of how we need to communicate to that person so they can understand us. A person who is persuasive uh, needs to set the scene. They need to ensure that uh, when they go to communicate, that it's communicated at the right time and in the right place. When we think of the right place, that's often easy to think about, that there are obvious times where it may be inappropriate to talk to someone, especially about a critical or sensitive uh, type of issue. But also we have to think about timing and setting uh, the tone is and setting the place is about timing as well. And timing is important because we have different times of our day where uh, we may not be as open uh, or conducive to hearing information or wanting to hear other people. So we have to think about those things. Sometimes for people it is certain times of the day, other times it may be when they're just coming out of a stressful meeting. That's a, a bad time to talk to someone. So we want to choose that time that's most effective for the person that we're trying to communicate with. To be persuasive, we have to think about how we're going to present our evidence. As we speak to someone, as we communicate, uh, we need to think from their perspective of what is the best way that they can understand or hear us. For some people, that's going to be providing some specific facts. It could be data, statistics, charts. Others of people, uh, other people, they may not be as much uh, attuned to that. Instead, they may want to hear more of a vision. They may want to hear a story. They may want more detail around what the information is. So giving some thought beforehand for how you will present that evidence is going to really help you in the way that you communicate. To be persuasive, we also cannot forget that there is an element of being able to appeal to the conscience of people. And this is where uh, we want to connect people with the values and the heart of what we're working on. What the, the decision is, what the feedback, or what the information is that we're trying to present. Remember these points. Set the scene. Present the evidence. Appeal to the conscience.